Hey guys and welcome to a new video here on Flowshop. My name is Joseph. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this skin tone in this edit. A lot of people were asking me on my Instagram um, how I achieved this and a lot of people have also been asking about how I achieved my melanin skin tone looks and I have released a skin tone lab uh, so many days ago, so many months ago and I also have a free melanin action that I also put out a long time ago and I keep saying that those are the things that I use to color grade now so I save a lot of time coloring my images by using my skin tone lights. I sometimes use two of them and mix them up or I just you know just use one that is going to work but I'm always trying the different options that I have uh, to finally see the one that works and fits the mood that I'm going for. So in this video I'm just going to run through everything I've done to this image and then we're going to start looking at the way I color graded this image and also I'm going to be using some of my skin tone lights uh, to color grade this same image. As first things first, let me just hide all of these layers and we're going to start from the beginning. So this is the image that I imported into Photoshop and the first thing I did was just to tweak the shape of the head a little bit and then the next thing I did was to run my frequency separation action. Now when I did that, I did use the frequency separation, uh, the mixer brush, if you haven't seen that, I, I'm going to link a video here. Uh, where I did a detail edit using the mixer brush um, so you're gonna learn my settings and everything and so if I just go back into that you can see over here I have converted it into a smart object so opening that smart object is gonna show you this and you can see that the opacity is set to 51 so if I make it 100% and I just go in there you can see that the mixer brush they do a lot of conversion smoothing out the skin so if I zoom in all the way to this point and hide the low layer you can see this is how it was looking before I used a mixer brush and this is how it was looking after the mixer brush and this at a hundred percent opacity also on the texture layer I just reduce some of the textures around here so if I just hide that so you can see that I have toned down the textures a little bit on her skin I also did the same thing around here so if I zoom in this is how I was looking it was really contrasty and punchy and then I reduced it a little bit all right, so after doing all of that in the frequency separation group, I just reduced the opacity to 51%. So that is what brings us back to this. So this is a 51% view of everything I did using frequency separation. And that's because I knew I was going to continue with Dodge and Burn to move the image further. So the next thing I did was just to work on some of the like filling, because when I did the liquify, this area, for example, had bended so I just needed to fill that in so I just painted that with a brush to fill it in. The next thing I did was to run my dodge and burn action and if I just zoom in a little bit you can see that before and after before and after so working around the eyebrows the forehead area we come down to the lips as well you can see I did a lot of dodging and burning just to you know even out the skin tones a little bit. The next thing I also did was to work on the eyes so if I zoom in to the eye for example here is a before and after and I also just took out a little bit of the blemishes that I could see when I zoomed into the eye level all right now what I did next was to run another dodge and bend <laughs> and that also just you know helped so if I zoom into this area for example um, just zoom in you can see that I did enhance the eyes the eyebrows and I also just lighten things that needed to be lightened a little bit, right? So fit the screen and do it before and after. You can see, so this added a more, like a lot more depth um, to her eyes, to her nose, to her lips. I just darkened down the dark areas just to boost the contrast and make the image pop a lot. The next thing I also did was to add contrast. And this contrast is just a small S scale, but I just moved the highlight. So without the highlight, this is how I was looking, which is actually fine. But I just wanted to, you know, boost it in a little bit. So I just brought that in a tiny bit like that. Okay. And before and after, you can see how it increases the saturation and how it just boosts the image a lot. The next thing I also did was to work on the neck color. So in there, you can see before the neck color, you can see it's a little bit dark and desaturated, but I just put in a little bit. Of color and what I did was just to create blank layers and then I sampled colors that I wanted painted over those and set the blending mode to color so that's what I did just to you know move the color tone 
to match the rest of your body so before that and after that all right the next thing i also did was to work on the eye whites not really the eye whites but the catch lights i just used the curves to you know um i raised it up a little bit just to boost the brightness in there so masking that just to affect the eyes added a little bit more punch to the eyes i also run another dodge and burn action where i just fine-tuned a little bit more things i needed fine-tuning for example her eyebrows you can see i filled it in just with a with a burn layer um, just to add more contrast and make it look fuller after that i did a little bit of um, relighting so this just brings a lot more attention to the face because here it looks a little bit dark but adding that curves just adds a little bit more focus and attention to just her face and that is what we want you to see the next thing i did was to add my color grading and then i added noise to the layers so now that we have everything um, set i'm now going to just dive into what i did inside the color grading so if i just open that right now actually i want to keep the layers very small so command g so now all we have is a color grade and then the noise i've left that because i haven't spoken about the noise yet all right so let me just do a quick before so this is the before and this is the after right you can see it still looks like hair just the colors look a lot more vibrant and her skin tone really shines and I really like the dewy look because you know black skin <laughs> absorbs a lot of light so if you want to let it pop all you need to do is let it glow all right okay so inside the color grading you can see I have just two layers in there and the first one is my melanin action so just with the melanin action I just brought the opacity down to 20% at 100% this is how it looks but for me it was just too strong it was taking away too much so i just brought it down to 20 percent because i knew i was going to mix it up let me actually just type it in so 20 percent all right the next thing is the color lookup that i added and this is from the skin tone lats that you can purchase on my website so if i just quickly go on to chrome you can see on my website i have so many things that i'm selling so i have the melanin skin tone lats uh, that gives you access to about six different skin tone LUTs that you can apply to your images. I also just started working on my Patreon page and this Patreon page, um, I finally had to do it because I was getting a lot of requests from you guys who were saying that you wanted to support my channel in a way uh, by contributing something small. So I have the first one which is fire burning and it's just $3 a month. You don't really get anything back but just know that it's a way uh, of supporting the channel so I can keep creating more content and I also have um, another package on there which is seven dollars a month and that gives you access to raw files I'll be refreshing these raw files but anytime I drop a new video on my youtube channel I'm gonna put the raw files here for you guys to practice on um, this is just to answer all those who've been asking me for raw files and also you know as you're getting the images to practice on you're still supporting the community you're supporting the channel so some of the money that I'm gonna make from this is gonna go into the models whose images you are working on so they're also compensated for contributing to to this so yeah that, this is basically everything that's going on right now i haven't launched the patreon yet i'm probably going to launch it maybe in about two or three weeks or hopefully next month currently i have like two images in there i'm going to add a lot more after this all right okay so back to the uh, video so we are using this melanin skin tone lights all right so back into photoshop i am going to show you what this color lookup table does that's what changes everything it boosts the contrast it boosts the saturation and it just shifts the colors to a place i liked and that's all i did so the melanin skin tone light was at 20 percent and the color lookup table or the skin tone light is at 63 percent and the group itself is kept at 100 so what i'm going to do quickly is just hide that and i'm going to show you how you can mix and match your own um, lights or all the lights that you've got from me how you can mix and match them to create your own grade all right okay so the first thing i'm going to do is go into my actions and i'm going to run my melanin skin tone action so i just press play and that automatically applies a lot you can go in there and then maybe if you don't want the curves you can take that out and this already looks like um, the final look right so if i hide this and then just make this visible you can see the difference isn't so much but this has a little bit of warmth in the skin but this for example is a lot cooler all right so we can keep the contrast there or we can even go in there and then maybe just reduce the opacity a little bit 
um, look at the second curves as well maybe we can maintain that the photo filter that is where like all the changes and that's really strong so maybe it's already at 70 percent but we can bring it down to about 50 or maybe even close the group and then drag the whole opacity of the group to about let's start with 40 percent all right now what i'm going to do is click on my color lookup table and this is going to bring me the option to choose or loading um, any LUTs i have so i'm going to load in some of the skin tone LUTs i have created that i have put out there that you guys can purchase and use all right so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to go to load 3d LUT. now inside there i'm going to locate where my skin tone lattice and it's on my desktop and it's inside Photoshop LUTs and then I have all these options. So I have Fade Punch, Fairly Muted, Fire Gold, Flamey is my second favorite and Flozilla is just amazing. That, that is like a really strong LUT <laughs> and trust me. Okay, so you let's start with Flozilla and then we have Fury as well. So we'll start with Flozilla. I'm going to click on open and you can see already it has done the magic. So this is like a color grade that I can keep. I can even decide to hide the melanin skin tone light and this alone, the Flozilla light is just amazing. You can see how it's brought in the contrast, it's increased the saturation, it's boosted everything in there and it's really, really amazing. All right, I can even reduce the opacity to like 50%. And make the melanin um, lot the melanin action visible and i can create another 3d lot and then load another option so i know the fade punch for example just gives a little bit of a faded look so i'm going to press open and you can see if i hide the previous one with the flozilla alone this is what the faded punch looks like and you can see it's made the skin a little bit more pink uh, muted some of the colors so this could be like a different look that you can go for it's at 100% right now we can reduce it to about 50% and this is the before and after it's you know it's punch it's, like, it's a little bit punchy but it's faded as well and I really really like this we're gonna take it to 100% and I'm gonna go back and then load another lot so let's go to let's say fairly muted and this is this is also another favorite lot of mine like you can see in just a click we've had two different options that we can choose from like this is also another nice look i even wish i went with this earlier and you know you can always reduce opacity and you can make adjustments like this is not 100 percent fixed you can always make your own changes and things like that i'm gonna go into another and load another lot so let's go to um let's say fire gold and i know fire gold is a it's, it's a bit warm so adding that you can see before and after fire gold is just warming up the skin tone and if there's a look that you're going for this is an amazing lot that gives you that result in just one click all right so i'm going to go now into and load another lot and let's try the fairy and this is really this looks like it's very similar to the first one so let me leave this and just create another lot and then go and load i think it's quite similar to the fade punch i want to see the difference between that so the fade punch is lighter right and then but this this just boosts the color in the shadows and flattens the contrast so there's less contrast in this and the colors like are more pinkish and we can even just mix everything so let me just make all of them visible and then maybe just dialing the ratios you can see mixing all those three just gives me another look so even though there are six lots in there you can mix and match and create unique looks that you won't find anywhere you can customize these as much as possible all right so let me just bring this opacity down to maybe 60 percent well since there are three different lots let me just do 20 percent each so the total is going to be like 60 so 20 here coming to the next one make that also 20 coming to the third one and make that also 20. Just group them, so all of them in here. Command G, and here's a before and after. So this is not like a very strong um, effect because I've put all of them at 20%. So let's just do 50. So let me just type it in. So 50% here, 50% here, 
so now this just brings in the contrast a little bit more so this is one look and then we also have what i initially did which is also like a different look and i'm just playing with the same skin tone that have been out there so yes if you find this video helpful if you have more interest in getting the skin tone lads just go on to my website right now you see the melanin skin tone lads you can click on to view the product and read a message in there and just get this skin tone lads it's amazing it's something i use all the time and don't forget i also have a patreon you can pay three dollars a month and know that it's going to go a long way to support the channel and also pay seven dollars a month and have access to raw files that i'll be refreshing anytime i upload a new video um, you can always come here and check because there's going to be raw files in there for you to practice with so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video i am actually moving more towards the lot that i just created yes this in just a few clicks after you've done all of your retouching you can just add in your skin tone lights and then you've already color graded no hassle you don't need to think too much about it just play with the opacity combine a few more lights create your own look out of the lights i've created and you know, you're going to have your own signature at the end of the day and that's the most important thing so yes i hope you found this video help i hope you enjoyed it. i hope you had fun watching me use my own skin tone lights uh to create this image this image was shot just recently and my skin tone lights were created a long time ago but i'm still using it so it's not like i am uh, have any secrets that i use to create my melanin skin tone lights it's the same thing i put out there for you guys to have access to so go onto my website and purchase it i'm gonna put a link in the description and i'll see you guys in the next one and remember don't ever give up